I'm coming for you, Grievous. Prepare to die. <laughs>
he's gonna put translation onto shock t the purpose of that is that shock t put offense on everybody which is a non-unique buff which thanks to c3po's unique will give everybody protection up which will turn into i think three or four more stacks of courage so now shock t has 15 instead of 12 stacks that she would have had if we'd called somebody else with c3 now shock t here we're going to use her to put crit immunity on gk that'll give him a non-unique buff so that he can get more stacks of courage but also help keep him alive when everybody starts wailing on him he's going to take most of the hits throughout this map now that it's gk's turn we're going to use his mass assist and because of our specific turn order shock t has 15 stacks of courage and gk has 15. so the two of them by hitting this b2 will be able to kill him good and now you start seeing where everybody wails on gk now that we've got b2 dead we've got eight turns here on grievous to kill as many units as we can before Grievous wakes up and starts unleashing his fury. In addition to that current goal of trying to kill as many units as we can, what we're going to be trying to do is get three stacks of translation onto Shock T, Padme, and C3. The reason for this is to decrease cooldowns so that every time C3 gets to go, he can call the whole team to assist so that Padme's basic can do protection up, so that Padme can use her stun move, call everybody to assist, and then Shock T is going to use her special to call C3PO to assist with his basic, decreasing all of their cooldowns. I'm glad I have the Zeta on Shock T because her counter will remove the taunt up on these Magnas. So now we're at a good point where we can kill anybody. It's safe because GK still not, or Grievous still isn't awake. So we had a good hit there where we got to kill Magna. Now that these Droidicas are free, we want to kill them as quickly as we can. So now let's do the mass assist. I should have put it on this Droideca, but I used mass assist on this one. Droideka here is about to get 10% turn meter because of another character taking a turn. That was real dangerous. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just gotten Droideka killed. Always take the sure kill. But now I've got three stacks on Shock T of translation. I can call C3PO to assist. But then C3PO is much closer to getting his next mass assist. And we just need one more stack of translation on Padme. Actually, because we're trying to get him killed, we've got to make up for it by not calling C3, and instead we're going to call GK. Good. So now we've got one Jordica dead, B2 dead, before Grievous has ever woken up. Go ahead and use this special, just to keep Magna from countering. And we're going to use specials a lot, even when we don't need to, because the assist from Ahsoka will remove the taunt. Now here I want to showcase how important it is to have high health on GK. Because he gets a hit here from Magna, but is about to get a bonus attack from Droidica. And Droidica's bonus attack... There's 4,000, but then the 22,000 for the speed difference. But because I started off with 76k, plus the 50% from Padme's leadership, I'm at 115, 120k health on GK. So I can actually withstand if Gordica was to use the... turn all these stacks into true damage, I'd actually be able to survive it right now. Okay, now GK's woken up. 
So now this is more of a dangerous spot. A pro tip I want to point out here is that you can actually target Droidica. Sure, Droidica has damage immunity, but you can target and put exposes and confuse. And if you need to, you can even stun a Droidica with damage immunity with Padme's special. The reason why I'm going to choose to target Droidica right now is because I don't want to kill B1, I don't want to kill Magna, and I don't want to kill this Magna. Ooh, look at Ahsoka with that really cool backflip. <laughs> if I killed Magna right now, each of my tunes are at low turn meter. Grievous will get a free bonus turn, even though he's at low turn meter, and he'll just wail on me. Droidica will go before any of my tunes, get damage immunity right back up, and summon a brand new Magna. So that's why at times like this, you want to space out your kills, space out your attacks, so that you have the time in between kills to heal up. Use Padme's cunning move, the middle special, to give everybody health and protection up, and use Shock T's thing that gives protection 35% to her and an ally. So use these times to have useless damage done to Droidica just to keep another kill from happening. See, because I waited, now when that Magna died, Droidica has low turn meter. Each of my people have high turn meter. I'll finally get the kill in before Jordica gets to take another turn. Let's give... These two are my most likely to die people, and we want to decrease the cooldowns of everybody with three stacks of translation, including C-3PO, by having him use his basic. There we get a good heal from Padme, and look! C-3PO is ready to do his special mass assist again. Now we'll have enough strength with all these attacks to kill Droidica and we can withstand the hit. Now this right here is where you want to get. If you can get to where you have all five characters standing, both Droidica's dead. No matter if you've got these guys left or not, you're in a good spot. You should be able to win no problem. Because right now, I'm only going to worry about General Grievous. Don't even think about these guys. The counters, and once you get Grievous' protection down and you're forced to attack these guys, they'll die on their own. Like, see those counters just then? And it's actually helpful to have them attack. Because the counters are good to decrease your cooldowns. Now see, look. We're now able to use Padme's heal and protection up move again. Right before Grievous is about to whack us with a big move. This is another benefit of getting the stacks of translation up. So that C-3PO can decrease all their cooldowns. See, Magna just died. Now we've got to stay alive and get enough protection up on our characters and just whittle down Grievous. A secret mechanic is that Grievous takes reduced damage. So even though we've got Jacks of Courage and even though we're going to put Exposes onto him, it's not going to actually take away 20%. And now this is one of the reasons why we were focusing on killing him I'll even those guys up. Because once you kill all the sides, Grievous goes enraged. I don't think it affects his damage or anything, but it, what it does do is makes it so that your characters can't heal anymore. And we've been relying on healing this whole time. So now this is the part where it can get dangerous. And this is the reason why you need all five characters alive being able to survive. But from here, this is really easy. Now that we're here, what we're going to do is manipulate Grievous so that he can never hurt us again. 
because we've got these stacks of translation, we're going to have Padme stun Grievous. And this stun can't be dispelled, even though he dispels all buffs. And then we're going to constantly call C3PO so that he can decrease cooldowns of everybody, including Padme, so that every time Grievous takes a turn, Padme is going to stun him. So we're going to use that ability just for the sake of using it on Shock T. Now let's stun. Everybody moves. Confuse from C3PO's basic decreases turn meter as well. Now let's call C3PO to assist, decreasing the cooldown on everybody. So that Padme now is ready to stun yet again. C3PO just assisted. So now the Padme cooldown is just at 2. Shock T is going to call C3PO to assist again, decreasing the cooldowns again. Now if you get to a moment like this, where the next stun move wouldn't be helpful, then you can just throw protection up. But at this point you've got to be really hopeful and try to get the next stun to land when Grievous next takes a turn, before Grievous next takes a turn. So we use Mass Assist with GK. C3PO Basic reduces turn meter so that now we've got plenty of time for Padme to stun again. Now I didn't mod her specifically for potency, but if you get to this point and then you start crying because your Padme didn't land the stun and Grievous was able to kill you, then maybe you want to go back and stick some potency some on her. Look at this. Well, General, it seems like your plan has failed. Ha ha ha! I was just a distraction. I'm sure Dooku's assassin has completed her agenda. Ventress! Anakin! I'm on it, Master. Victory! Yeah! That took many hours. We figured out the strategy. No, don't make me try again. There we go. I hope this helped. Leave a comment. Let me know how it works for you. Let me know any other tips that you found and share them with me. Be sure to check out my Discord or check out surgygames.com where I'll be posting a written out guide of each step. So if you can't watch a video or it's hard to go back and forth, you can always pull up that written guide to have alongside while you play. God bless and may the force be with you.